these are ways I discovered in which one can like level up as per raise the bar in the 20s. <laughs> Welcome, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Clotilda. You can call me C. And if you're not new, you know what it is. You already know what it is. I just want to thank you guys for like the whole feedback I've been getting from you guys from my past videos. You're helping me discover myself more and to know what type of like videos you guys love and to know what to put out for you guys to receive and all of that. And I'm so I'm so here for it. I'm so, I love it. I love what I'm seeing. I actually call my 20s the the determining decade like that when you enter from 20 to 29 to me is the determining decade it tells you who you're going to be in your 30s and in your 40s so i feel like the, the, your 20s is where you like you know you have to set the record straight because if you don't set it now you have a lot to catch up on. I feel like this is the decade that, that in which you determine who you are, you discover yourself and you know what you like, what you don't like, what you can support, what you can support. And like, I feel like if anybody is to build themselves to the maximum, it's in their 20s that have to do it. So these are ways I discovered in which one can like level up as per raise the bar in their 20s. See, before I start this video, I want to let you guys know that most of these points are points that I wrote down to help me and I'm still like on the journey to become a better version of myself. So I'm not only talking to you guys, I'm actually kind of also talking to myself. So it's all of us are learning from this video. The first point would be time management. In your 20s, you know that you, you see that uh, this 24 hours that God has given us is the same as that Mark Zuckerberg has, that Elon Musk has, that you have, that I have, then why are they making, what are they doing with that time that gets them the billions of dollars? I feel like the best way to manage your time is to drop a schedule, a weekly schedule, a daily schedule, and you know, try to remain in that time frame. And I feel like the more you do it, it would, it's going to like live from a habit to a lifestyle. You wouldn't even like notice that you were becoming that way anymore. You would just see that your life is changing for the better. The second thing I would say is writing down your goals. I feel like everybody should do this. What I do is I have a planner and I, what i write my goals like weekly i sit down in the weekend and i write my goals for the following week and then every day when i wake up i update it so for example if something comes up and i have to do this today i update it every day and when i do it i make sure i tick it off to show that so that i always try to strive to have like a a, a completely ticked off to do this by the end of the day so write down your goals be it for the day for your life bruh my wall says where i want to be like i wrote these goals in 2020 this is something that i wrote when i was what 18 years old so know where you want to be write your goals down <laughs> i cannot stress on that so you know what to look up to it's like those are things that these are the things that will motivate you to be a better person a better version of yourself because you know that okay i'm not suffering like this for nothing i'm suffering like this because i am striving to be somewhere tomorrow so, so I'll, I'll look back and i'm like wow i was here write your goals down let me blend all of this out and i'll be back in a sec i'm back hi so like i said the second thing was to like write your, your achievements write your goals you know write your your have a to-do list have a weekly plan you have 24 hours to accomplish a good number of things i want you to put in your mind that you should sit down at the end of the day and recount what you have done and know that you have done this and this and this so you i i promise you there is a satisfaction that comes with that when you sit down at the end of the day and you're like i did this and did this and did this and did this and did this you will sleep that day with the happiest of hearts and you will feel so confident about the next day trust me i promise you the third um point um you should note on you know leveling up in your 20s in is taking care 
of your health be it your physical health your spiritual health your mental health i can't stress on that enough because i feel like the 20th the 20th is the is a period of time where you are getting detached from your parents like your parents don't have full control full responsibility of what you do with your life anymore you're getting independent so if there is anything that can be scary it's that that notion that you have control about everything that is going on in your life that any decision you make affects you directly like your parents don't make any decision in your life anymore they don't get to make any decision in your life anymore you get to make the decisions you get to choose what you want and what you do not want for your life so knowing that all of those responsibilities fall on your shoulders and you have to take responsibility for everything you do today tomorrow yesterday i feel like many of us have make mental breakdowns about this like because we didn't know what adulthood was all about and because of that we are falling in our shell where we're like enclosed and we're not ready for this world taking care of your mental health is very very important two things that will make you happy if it's traveling travel if it's um reading read learn a new skill like get to do something that would take you out of that sphere of feeling like this adulthood is just work and school and routine and work and school and routine your your mental health matters like it's very your mental health is very 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 important so take care of your mental health go to the gym <laughs> Clotilda, go to the gym oh. Go to the gym, go for a walk, you know, leave your house, like um, visit places, like go to the museum, like learn things, learn skills, build a PC and you know, all of that good stuff. But you know, try to leave that sphere of you feeling enchained by the responsibilities of being or the burden of being an adult. Develop a relationship with God, most importantly, develop a relationship with God. If you are not Christian, if you are not a believer, you can take care of your physical health, your mental health but if you believe in god have a relationship with god you know improve your relationships with your family with your friends move away from bad vibes move away from bad energy and life to be honest life becomes much more tasty my life becomes tastier before victory appears in my youtube channel and start insulting me that i'm insulting him about his english <laughs> the next point i'm on um leveling up in your 20s is start saving start saving have a life insurance have a social um, insurance policy where you start saving for retirement save for even if you don't have anything to save for save money save might know how to manage your money i read this book the smart money woman if you don't know how to read the series is on netflix i think if it's still there you can watch it and learn some skills i learned some you know details some eats about how to save money and how to you know manage your income how to grow your income invest people invest <laughs> i personally have a financial plan um of how much i spend per month which is like it's an excel sheet I was advised to do this by my aunt and this is an advice i'm putting out to you if you're a student you're working and you want to know how much you spend per month so like i have a financial plan i have um um the month the income the expenditure the balance how much i put in savings and all of that so know how to manage your income know how to manage it and only know how to manage it know how to grow your Income. another thing is to have weekly reviews like have a review of the week so when you have like you know done accomplish everything you wanted to accomplish for the week sit down and at the end of the week sit down and recount i did this on monday i did this on tuesday i did this on wednesday was this a uh, good enough do i need to do this again like sit down and recount your week were you be were you able to be productive like the main aim of your 20s is to know how to maximize like the productivity within those 24 hours because all of us have these 24 hours but what you do what do you do with yours how to be a better version of yourself is what uh, your life in 20s is all about so i feel like with these 24 hours that god has given you you should know how to use it know how to you know 
use it the next thing i want to talk about is um appreciate failure huh. that is some real growth know how to understand that failure is nothing more but redirection it's not denial it's not the end of the road and when you understand that i feel like most of us are going to like overcome like a great deal of the problems we are facing now it's okay to fail it's okay to fail it's okay it's perfectly okay to fail at least you tried failure is better than not trying at all so know that don't kill yourself for failing when you appreciate failure you would also appreciate success like your success would taste like much more sumptuous <laughs> when you're able to taste failure and appreciate failure you would love the success so appreciate failure know that it is okay to fail it's okay to um not like it's okay to be where you are now even though you expect no no it's not okay it's okay to write that exam and fail it's okay um to not be able to get into that to get that job use that as the fuel for your next trial they say you should you should fail forward right fail forward so use it to motivate yourself to be better the next point i would say is stop feeling bad about your past guys like there's nothing you can change about your past anymore so you should stop feeling bad about it stop feeling bad about the fact that something happened 20 years ago and you could not remedy it think about what you have now think about how you can better the problems you have now and focus on that don't focus on the past and what the past did to you because you cannot change it like there's this little thing i used to do here yeah. i'll be in an exam hall and i'll write the exam when i'll come out and my friends or my classmates are talking about the exam me i will not really you will not see me standing and be talking with them it's not me that will have a heart attack when my answer is wrong and the answer is correct i would carry my two legs and go because it's not like anything i i discuss now is going to help the outcome of the exam this is just an example by the way to, to make you understand that what has happened in the past you cannot change it so um if there's anything you should learn you should do with the past is to learn from it so that you can be able to have a better future so guys we've come to the end of this video i don't know how many points i was able to give you guys i hope it was insightful enough i hope you guys could pick one or two points and if you have reached this point please type amen in the comment section i want to see how many of us reach this point in this video thank you so much for you know sticking with me to the very end and i will see you guys very very soon with some more videos hugs and kisses bye bye